Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sag, today we're going to do your message from Spirit Guides reading. So let's get into this. Let's see what messages Spirit Guides want to pass along. Let's see what you need to hear. Let's see what you need to know. Let's see what we're talking about today, shall we, Sagittarius? Let's get into your reading. And Sagi, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. Wow, okay. Jesus and Mary Magdalene shared mission. So this could represent you and your divine counterpart, but being that we're in a spiritual reading, this is about merging your feminine and your masculine energies and coming together in complete harmony and balance within yourself, right? When you balance those two energies, you become the magus. So let's talk about this and let's see what they want to say about that. Let's get down to business, Sag. And Sagittarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal reading. If you would like one, the link is in the description box below. So, and remember, Sagi, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in three to five business days. So, the first card that comes out is going to represent them. Wow. Talk about, okay. We have the King of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. Excuse me. Let's, 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 let's lay the right cards here. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have the Two of Cups. But I kind of feel like, you know, on a consciousness level, the Two of Cups represents merging... <laughs> The masculine and the feminine energies, right? There's the caduceus of Hermes, you know, uh, being the magician and the magus in your life. So let's see what that all means. We'll get to that. The next card that comes out, Sag, is a reminder of what's important. Ooh, the emperor in reverse. Okay. And actions to take. Whoa. Wow. Everything I talked about in like the first 10 seconds of this reading <laughs> like repeated itself already. There's the sun. We got some different kind of layout here, but it's all good. We just go with the flow, baby. And we got the world. The world is the happy. Wow. A lot of people think the sun is the happiest card in the deck and it is a happy, happy card, but the world is actually the happiest card in the deck. It's the most victorious card. We have the biggest success wreath. We have alchemy being completed. We have a new cycle going down. Let's get into your reading because the message you're not getting is the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So I'm not sure if it's a message about this particular person or if it's a message to get into this particular energy. So guess what, Sag? We're going to do a little bit of clarifying. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. What is this energy here? What is the message that Sagittarius is not getting? Okay, King of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords. Okay. Why, well, Sagi? It is you. So it is you in the King of Pentacles energy. Now, you very well could have some Earth in your chart, but... When you create that foundation, when you balance those energies, right? The Jesus and Mary, the divine feminine, the divine masculine. That's when the stability comes into your life. That's what creates the magic. The king of pentacles, and this is the message that you're not getting. So there must be an imbalance. I'm going to say there's an imbalance in the masculine energy because that's what's come out twice here. The emperor's in reverse, which is the masculine energy. The king of cups is in reverse, which is the masculine energy. Um, so in order to create, you know, the king of pentacles is abundant. He's happy. He's you know, he's fruitful, not because he's rich, not because he has a bunch of material possessions, but because he's created that balance within himself. Not only the balance between the feminine and the masculine, but the balance between material and spiritual. He is the king of self-development. Now, the fact that the king of cups is in reverse tells me the message you're not getting is to trust your intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you. The king of cups in reverse is not fully trusting and listening to his intuition. When the king of cups is upright, He's the master of emotions, the master of intuitive energy. So, and you know, being, if there's an imbalance here in the masculine, which I believe there is, because there's the reminder of what's important, it's going after what you want. It's getting assertive. It's taking control. Um, so it's really realizing what you want and going after it. And that's the message that you're not getting. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you're very strong in the divine feminine energy. She's upright. But again, the masculine continues. Well, what am I saying? Not again, but twice the masculine's upside down and there's a the feminine upright. There's the lovers choosing yourself. So uh, the message you're not getting is to create a balance between those energies within yourself. Don't forget to, to get that masculine part of yourself, right? To merge those two energies, um, to create that abundance, that stability, and that strong foundation that you're seeking to create here, Sag. Now the message, or excuse me, the reminder of what's important is the emperor in reverse. I feel, we're going to clarify, but I feel instantly that's about... Accepting the things that are outside of your control, right? The emperor in reverse is someone who's like, things are out of control. Um, they're trying to control things, but they can't. And we can't be over controlling. We can't be overbearing. Um, and we got to focus on the things we can control. And, you know, when it comes to life in this world, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are outside of our control. And we can't really focus on those things. But what else do you want to say here with the reminder of what's important with this emperor in reverse? Because this could very well be an influence of somebody else. We'll see. No, I don't think. Mm, no, it's a night of. There's a lack of. Uh, there's a block in the intuition here, Sag. Yeah. 
what is this? Knight of Wands, the Magician. Okay, so <laughs> I'm hearing Yoda. Fear leads to the dark side. Maybe that's not Yoda. <laughs> Maybe that was, I don't know, who the fuck said that in Star Wars? Somebody said it, and that's what I feel here um, with the conflict. So it's like an energy of whether you're doubting yourself, doubting your intuition, doubting a download that you got, doubting a decision that you made. Um, and, and here's the thing, too, and a reminder of what's important is not every, sometimes things don't work out, and that was how it was meant to be be right there was a lesson to learn there was something we were supposed to gain from that experience in order to get where we need to go and so it, it's it's kind of like there's like a fear of failure here a fear of lack of, of expectations not coming through or or some kind of fear and it's creating a blockage in your intuition and it's about again focusing on yourself the sun is not only the happiest card and focusing on your blessings the things that you have but the sun also talks about the foundations within yourself and being a master of your mind a discipline um, a disciplined entity, right? And that means controlling your thoughts, your worries, your anxieties, your fears. So the reminder of what's important is not everything is, is in your control. There are things that are outside of your control. Um, and it's about trusting your intuition and allowing your intuition to guide you and knowing that if something doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to, it wasn't meant to, but there was a lesson to have learned. And it's about valuing, appreciating, and counting that lesson and allowing yourself to progress forward. Now, the actions to take are the magician and the sun. Uh... Come the Magus. <laughs> but the magician is using all your tools and your resources to get what you want, to overcome these obstacles, the barriers, the things that are outside of your control, right? When you get those obstacles, those ball those barriers, it's about staying balanced within yourself, staying grounded, completely balanced, and not letting them throw you off kilter or throw you off course or get you discouraged in any way, shape, or form, right? Um, and the actions to take are to focus on what you do want, to use your skills and your resources here to create that happiness, to create that peace. I also feel like it's an energy of counting your blessings. When you do go through something that maybe didn't turn out properly or, or not properly, but the way you wanted it to, it's an energy of being thankful for that experience, um, getting into that principle of appreciation, that abundant mind frame. Is there anything else you want to say about the Magus and the Sun? Queen of Swords. Create a plan. So that's my planner and card. Yeah, Six of Wands. So creating a plan and making it happen. So it's kind of like, you know, prioritizing and writing down what it is that you're trying to work towards. Let's say you start a business. Well, make sure you got your business plan, your marketing plan, you know, your Amazon plan. Um, but make sure you have your, your plans, your budgets, you know, your things put into place. So write down your short term, your long term goals and what you need to do to accomplish it. So it's like an, an energy of like pulling yourself back um, and planning and looking at this from a higher perspective. Um, and creating a plan, taking your steps, taking your actions will create success. Because there's the six of wands. Bad as motherfucking success. Um, but we got the queen of swords energy here first. So, and what's underneath? Yeah, the seven of cups. And the queen of swords doesn't dwell on the past. The seven of cups. You could be trying to figure out why something's not working out. Is there a why or is there a lesson there that we can elaborate for the Sagittarius? Is there a why or a lesson there as to this emperor in reverse here? What was supposed to be learned or... Being at peace with the things outside your control instead of dwelling on the things outside your control. That's really what it is. So Sag, there's something going on that is just simply outside of your control. And, and Spirit's really trying to portray that message that if you're the rock, if you're rigid, these are Lao Tse teachings. I know we all heard Bruce Lee say it, but Bruce Lee was simply reiterating Lao Tse. And Lao Tse says, if you're the rock, if you're rigid, you're going to create a necessary suffering in your life. It's about being the water, going with the flow, because there are things that are outside of our control. So really the big message here is to be at peace with the things outside your control, learning from that. And that is to be at peace <laughs> with the things that are outside your control. So just accepting it, focusing on the blessings and the lesson of that experience um, instead of brooding on it or dwelling on it or wondering or, or thinking about it or focusing on it, right? Focus on the positive as opposed to the negative. All right, Saji. That's what we got here. That's your message from Spirit Guides today. So let's grab some oracles. Oh, they're telling me to grab these bad boys first. Okay. So I made this homemade deck here um, like years ago, <laughs> a long time ago. I don't use it very often, but sometimes they want me to pull it out, baby. So let's just see what message they want to pass along inside this reading here. This will be better than you imagined. Oh, baby. So whatever is out of your control, <laughs> like it's just like a little speed bump. You just got to get over that hump to get where it is that you want to go. So definitely a don't give up type of energy um, and just use your tools, your resources and put on that thinking cap to overcome the things that are outside your control and the obstacles you come across here. All right. What is OK? Let's get your surrender cards. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Procrastination. This is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action 
will attract success. If you don't take action, you're not going to attract it into your life. <laughs> What's the lesson here? It'll be nothing but a thought and a dream. What's the lesson that Sag is learning here? Yeah, change. So I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Encourage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Well, let's grab your energy oracle message. Let's see what other message they want to pass along here. And we'll get back to the tarot sag. We'll get back to the tarot. Okay. Woman holding a heart. Ah, look at that. The thinking woman. There's the adjacent possibilities. When we follow our heart, there's always new doors. If one door closes, another door always opens. But sometimes our thoughts, our worries, you know, focusing on the negative, focusing on um, what didn't work out or what we don't have can prevent us from seeing the opportunities um, that presented to us. So this is an energy of always following your heart, heart over your mind, right? Our mind can betray us, our mind can create scenarios, our mind um, it can prevent us from doing things, it can just create doubt. So it's just kind of an energy of turning off Agent Smith. That's what I call a little voice in our head because sometimes that little voice is not our friend. Um, it's turning off Agent Smith and it's allowing your heart to guide you. When you follow your heart, when you come from your heart with honorable and honest intentions, there's always opportunities you just got to see it. You just got to think outside the box. You just got to get creative. You got to get that masculine energy and get assertive and take control and make it happen for yourself because no one will do that for you. There's your intuition. There's a man holding a heart. There's some very difficult emotions here. The woman holding a heart and the man holding a heart are, are again, there's your feminine and there's your masculine energy and there's your intuition. So when you balance both of those and allow your heart to overcome some of those thoughts, right? Like I said, life is a mind game. It's about disciplining your mind and if you're disciplined in your mind you can be disciplined in your action and you can take control of you <laughs> so this is about allowing your intuition to guide you this is allowing and stopping or maybe not letting over you know you're always going to have negative thoughts okay we're always going to have that little voice there it's always going to be there and that's what alchemy is is when you master that you acknowledge it you process it and you release it and you focus and replace it with something positive so that's what they want to say there sajay oh i want to grab the soul cards for some reason okay there's a message here. Hold on. What's the soul card here for Saji? I usually pull these out during these readings, but hey, I'm just going with the flow, baby. <laughs> just be in the water. Okay. What do we got here? Animals. Okay. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as animals are part of your life work. And look, we have definitely some earth angels in the house. There's the environmentalist. So you're an earth angel who is born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So that's a very specific message for someone who's working with animals. Maybe creating some kind of sanctuary. That was always my dream. I would love to do something like that. That would be pretty cool. Rescue those, you know, you know, you see those stories where like the cows jump out of the truck because they don't want to die. That motherfucker took control of his life. He jumped out of that truck. He made it very clear. He ain't dying today. Um, anyway, anyway, that's a message for somebody. So, Sag, let's get uh, some final messages here. What else does Spirit Guides want to pass along to Sag Jay? today the sun okay <laughs> yeah there's a six of swords moving on the six of swords is a spiritual test and transition card so it is moving from rocky waters to smoother waters but it is not being defeated it is knowing that something better is coming along it is knowing that you passed your test and there's the sun and this is definitely a test of the mind a test of discipline a test of over a test of overcoming obstacles barriers right like elon musk says and mr kiyosaki rich dad poor dad tells us that before you get to that moment of success, that big moment of abundance of getting everything you want, there's always a hurdle. There's always a little test. There's a little universe saying, hey, Saji, do you really want this? And if the answer is yes, then you're going to overcome that. And you're going to focus on those strong foundations, strong stability, but you're also going to focus on your happiness. So this is an energy of, again, just overcoming those obstacles, letting go of the things outside your control and focusing on what you want and not letting anything stop you from making it happen. All right, Saj. That's what I got. That's your messages for today. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it benefited you. If you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Sag. Truly, truly, I do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. Oh, you ready, baby? Are you ready? Yes. That's what I have. Sag, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.